After my last Quantum Leap History video found a larger audience than I was expecting, I wanted to do a follow-up on things I had to cut from the first video, as well as taking a look at the two new handlink designs in the 2022 Revival. If you haven't seen that video, I've put a link in the description. Quantum Leap's fifth and final season introduced the controversial Evil Leaper storyline. I personally found these episodes fascinating, as I felt it took the show in a new direction, and Evil Leapers were certainly no more preposterous than vampires or Bigfoot. Zoe, played by Carolyn Seymour, served as the observer for Aaliyah, played by Renee Coleman. Zoe's handlink was made of bright orange, translucent acrylic with dark glyphs. It had no display that we could see, but it nonetheless had sounds and reacted to touch. Zoe would appear in two episodes as the observer, interfacing with the evil computer Lothos, which seemed to have more control over the leaping process than the whim of fate that Ziggy and Project Quantum Leap seemed to have. Zoe's handlink had its own sound effects for data retrieval, teleportation, and door control, which were a sort of distorted version of our hero's handlink sounds. In the Sci-Fi Channel Sciography program, Zoe's handlink is shown among a series of drawings described as some of the 13 designs the production crew went through before reaching the final design for Al's handlink. It has long been an interest of mine to make a replica of this prop. However, we only had the DVDs and then Blu-rays and these auction pictures from eBay, until recently, when a collector provided extraordinary photos of the screen-used prop to Matt Dale, which I've been given permission to share here. At the end of the second Evil Leaper episode, Sam foils Zoe's and Lothos' plan and leaps together with Aaliyah, this time into a women's prison. To take a more hands-on approach, Zoe does a targeted leap into the prison warden. We see a new observer, Thames, playfully portrayed by Hinton Battle. We didn't kill Carol Bennett. <laughs> Murder! His hand link is never seen in close-up, but repeated viewing suggests that it is a clear acrylic pyramid, held inverted, with colorful gems or costume jewelry glued to the bottom, and with a bundle of fiber optic lights placed underneath or inside it to provide a pulsing light when the prop is used at night. Season 3's fan-favorite episode, Future Boy, introduced the character of Captain Galaxy, played by Mo Stein, played by Richard Hurd. Sam played his sidekick, Future Boy. Captain Galaxy had a handheld computer, which bears more than a striking resemblance to the Gummy Bear handlink design. What Sam didn't expect is Stein had a grasp of quantum mechanics and had built a nearly operational time machine in his basement. And didn't we all want to see Mo successfully leap? Here you go. With the revival of a new Quantum Leap series, one of the elements of the original show they had wished to carry forth was a handheld computer or handlink for the Observer. A prop was locally designed and delivered in time for the Vancouver filming of the first pilot episode. This episode was set around the 1989 San Francisco earthquake. After filming was complete, the network decided to replace the showrunners and ordered a new pilot episode. A new pilot was hastily written and filmed about a jewelry heist. The earthquake episode, with linking reshoots, would become the series' sixth episode. Perhaps in response to tepid fan reaction to early production stills of the earthquake episode, the new pilot, and all subsequent episodes thus far, would see a second handlink design with a disc shape and a blue ring of light. To avoid expensive reshoots, a handlink switch up is performed by Addison and Ian to preserve the continuity in the earthquake episode. This tablet style handlink from the original pilot went through several revisions by designer Ray Lai before Margot and Dean brought it to reality. You can see in these concept renders that it was intended as an evolutionary design based on the gummy bear and calculator handlinks of the original show. Quantum Leap has been near and dear to my heart for nearly 35 years, and it has been an honor to be able to produce these videos as well as design and build the electronics for replica handlinks. I still have some more ideas for these videos about the original series I hope to do someday, and if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions for me, 
leave a comment and I promise I'll respond.